Action. Let's get started. It's loading. That's what it's doing right now. It's loading up the game. Hey, I'm looking all green to keep with this Ninja Turtle theme. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go! Peace power! This will be fun! Especially me playing it, because it's pretty fun. This is a fun game, man. And these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are walking, talking Ninja Stars. Hey, let's take it up a notch. I'm obviously they had a big impact on me. Shell shock. I was one crazy kid compared to how I am right now. This is tame right now. This is tame. Right now it's tame compared to how I used to be. I've been training to be a ninja my whole life. Which comes in handy if you want to be a ninja. This is me. All over. Because to know me, you have to get to know me. And where I'm coming from. Which is right here. On this screen. It was a time of comma eights and comma ones. Inspected gadgets and Voltrons. Until the Ninja Turtles came along. Me and my brother had Nothing in common. It's very telling that I love Michelangelo and he loved Donatello because we are very different people. But the one thing that we both liked and we were both fascinated with were ninjas. We both loved ninjas. So we trained to be ninjas. We trained to be ninjas every day. It was a good time to be alive, man. Let me show you where I'm coming from. Hang on, Nico. And let's just say I was inspired. And all this training led me down the path to my favorite beat em up of all time. As these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles explode onto the scene like they're dynamite, baby. Cowabunga! Big Apple, 3am. Let King Shell! But hurry, quick! Did you just see what happened to the Statue of Liberty during April's big report? This is April O'Neil reporting. Evening news. Hang on, April. As 
Krang, the bloated beanbag, flies off of it. Like he owns it. How rude. Hey, Krang, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. Prepare to die. So that's the plan from our great leader. And straight away, Krang has his eyes set on you. And he's beaming. And you know what? So am I, because I'm playing Turtles in Time, baby. So, take the statue. I'm gonna come and get it anyway. As Splinter calls out attack as we are called into the action. Yeah, you crap, Toidal. Let it shell! Alright, let's talk about the boulder in the room. I am obviously playing two different versions, because there is an arcade version and a Super Nintendo version. But so far so good, right? No complaints here. Oh. I didn't like that. But you know what, it does it in both versions anyway. So who's complaining? Not me, you didn't hear it from me. No, 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 no. I did not complain about that just then on camera. You heard wrong, or the camera filmed it wrong. Which one is it? Did you hear it wrong or did the camera film it wrong? Maybe I just said it wrong. Maybe it came out wrong when I said it. It didn't come out the way I wanted to say it. Is that my fault? Is that really my fault? Tell me, is that my fault? Yeah, actually, it is. Some would say yes, I would personally say no. Yeah, you definitely heard it. And the camera definitely filmed it. Terminate the turtle! Hey, we better get energized before Baxter wants to terminate the turtle. Terminate the turtle. Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Yeah. I love that pizza, especially in the game, because it gives you health. Normally, I like to eat it in real life, but here, it gives you health. But in real life, it's not the best kind of health that you want to really be eating pizza with, you know, because it doesn't really give you the most healthiest body in the end. But you know what? Here, it gives you actual good energy for it. And we need plenty of energy to play this game, obviously. I need much more energy to play this game with more than just a little bit of pizza that they're giving you here. I need much more than that. My body needs much more energy than a little bit of pizza. Look at me. I need way more energy to keep this body running. Can't you tell? Really? You can't tell that by looking at me? Is the camera on? <laughs> Alright, let's get back to squatting flies as the Baxter tries to stop me. Terminate! 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 You're going to pay! Hey! I didn't like that, but Baxter's about to go over the edge, as he loses it. Because let's face it, these bosses blow. Eventually, like they're dynamite, baby. Like they're dynamite. Unless you're playing the arcade version. Finally! Finally! Hey! He doesn't blow in this game! He doesn't blow in this game! In this version of the game! <laughs> One point less than the Super Nintendo! Alley Cat Blues. You're going to pay! Alright, we really gotta move here. Let's find our way to the Technodrome. I'm trapped! Hey, where'd he go? Oh, this cave is creepy! Shell shock! What just happened? Pizza power! Cool off, sucker! Hey, get off me! No! So wiggle my stick and press my button. Oh yeah, just like that. As these mouses will eventually have a mind like a steel trap, baby. And I certainly don't have the alley cat blues, because man, I love being a turtle. Cowabunga! Hey, get up! I can't seem to catch a break. Even when I'm down in the sewer, surfing. Sewer surfing! Man, I just had a shower! Yeah, I don't think it's one of the most hygienic places to surf. But hey, what if it gets to go on, eh? Let's show those creepazoids what turtle power's all about! Hey, do you hear something? Eh, yeah. uh, I'm not worried. Lots of crazy shit happens in 80s cartoon TV shows. We can handle anything you can throw at us! More crazy than this shit, and this is fucking crazy, man. We're surprised! Oh, 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 shell shock! Try again, sucker! Hey, it's the Rat King! And Shredder? What the hell's going on here? Pizza time! And as the Rat King goes down on the ship, who knows where he's headed? Or even where I'm going? Who knows what you're gonna find beneath those swords, you know? Hey! Hey! What's going on here? 
Let's cross over to my counterpart to find out what level we're supposed to be playing. Well, actually I know, if you're playing the Super Nintendo version, it's the Technodrome. Well, I'm not going to miss any stages just because it's not in the arcade version. I'm still playing the Super Nintendo version, so I'm not going to miss out on any stages. The Technodrome! So let's get chill. We've got to stop it! We're the only hope the world has! Turtle power! It's hard to say no to a guy like that. Wait for me, guys! This could be the story of the century! Now we're really going on up, where you'll find old Tin Face Treadhead himself. And some friendly advice, stay out of the crosshairs. Name me one situation where it's good to be in somebody's crosshairs. In any situation. I'd like to see the turtles try something now. <laughs> Oh man, what time is it? 250 million BC? Hey, I was up or not, okay? Well, that's one real long number. I'm not gonna count all the little zeros, there's too many of them. I haven't got my glasses on. I think it's 250 million. It looks like it's a big number, and that is a big number. Alright, let's really rock and roll. Now they're turtles in time, which is where the name of the title of this game really shines. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, oh, that's so funny. Look, everybody's laughing. Pause, 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 pause. Oh, that's such a funny joke. It wasn't a joke, man. It was a rhyme. Well, don't rhyme in my time. That's a real crime. Okay, I gotta stop all this crap. <sighs> Just give yourself. Better calling Craig. Come in, Craig. The foot soldiers and rock soldiers have arrived. Now we can play this again, because you know, this is back to the arcade version, but I am playing both versions, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to miss out on any levels, because I'm actually playing both versions at the same time, simultaneously. Is that how you say that word? Because that's a very hard word to say sometimes, but I find it is anyway. I don't know if it actually is, but I do sometimes find it hard to say. Did I say it okay? Simultaneously. Probably not, but well, you know what, that's what I'm going with, so let's keep playing. Simultaneously. Hey, it's okay, man. I understand. Hey, get off me. Don't worry, if my brother was here, he'd be correcting me by now for sure. Shut up, Todd. You know, back when we were stuck in the past together. Mega disaster! Prehistoric turtle stars. Me and my brother certainly were not the same type of people. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. <clears throat> we were just different. You look, uh, different. It's like... Where did you come from, man? <laughs> like, really, where did you come from? I'm sure he was asking the same thing about me. Where the hell, where did this guy come from, you know? Michelangelo growing up, he was always my favourite turtle of choice when the costume came off the rack. Obviously, as you've seen in the video already. And as I mentioned earlier, my brother was always Donatello. Michelangelo, he's always the fun one. And um, Donatello was always kind of the boring scientist type one. I'm not saying my brother's boring at all, I'm just saying we're two different people and I like how my brother is. You know, I'm on one side of the spectrum, like I'm really talking fast all the time and I really want to get my point across and he's like, 
on the other side, like, hey man, just calm down, we'll think this for you, and I go, I want to keep going, and I just want to know the answers right now, I don't want to think about it, I want to know what's going on, man, and he'll be the little head of mine, just calm it down, brother, we're gonna be rational about this, uh-oh, I'm a very reasonable person, can you tell that I'm a reasonable person, can you not tell that I'm reasonable, I'm being very reasonable right now, I need to do this, we can't just stand around waiting, we gotta be shredder, we gotta be crank, <sighs> We're at Rocksteady and B-Boys beat as well, you know? You can't just stand here and wait for things to get done. You're not going to get done just standing here. We're going to get into it. We're going to get going. We're going to get done right now. Breathe. Just calm down, Todd. I've got the plan. I've got the map. We've got to work this out. A to B to C to D to E. But I don't want to do that. I just want to go from point A to point B. Nothing in the middle. No A, B, C, D, E. A to B. Put up the flagpole, finish the level, and move on. See how we're different? We're completely different people. He's rational. I am not rational. In no way am I rational in anything. For the most part, anyway, you know, obviously you gotta be rational sometimes, but for the most part, I just like to get in, get things done. I don't wanna sit there reading shit. I'm very bad at reading instructions and manuals and games and stuff. Okay, I'm just flick, flick, flick. Got it. Give me the goddamn controller. I just wanna play the game. I don't read any instructions about it. I just don't want to think about it. Sit there reading instructions or not. I just want to play the game. Okay? I just want to play the game. Play the game. Give me the controller. That's what we're doing. We're playing the game. But we've got instructions to read for the game. I don't want instructions to read. Give me the controller and I'm going to play the game. But we have to read what the controllers do. Give me the damn controller. We're not reading no instructions. Well, lead the way then. Beep beep. Oh, what's this? What's this? Well, I told you to read the instructions, didn't I? And you didn't want to listen to reading the instructions. Well, think about it. Too late now for that, isn't it? <laughs> We're playing the game, and uh, I really need to help here, bro. What, what does this button do again? I didn't read the instructions, and just give me a gist of it. Give me a gist of it. Don't slow it down. Just give me a gist, 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 gist. <sighs> I can't remember what I was talking about. After all that, I don't even know what I was talking about. I really don't know. I have no idea what I was talking about. <sighs> oh, Michelangelo, yeah. You know, Raphael, yeah, yeah, yeah. My OCD hands are talking here, so let's take back the controls. Well, I still can. Now, if I keep following down this path, I can see the light at the end of this tunnel. And as I leave the past behind me, I can now focus on the future. But I can now see ahead of me. And Splinter keeps telling me to hurry up. So what's what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hurry up, play the game. So look, hurry, look, he's really pushy, isn't he? No wonder he's your teacher. He just wants to push you further. To journey without a point is pointless. Well, that's what a teacher's meant to do. They're meant to push your capabilities further than what you're actually thinking that you can actually do in the first place. Splinter. <laughs> he's also their father and their voice of reason to show them the right way in case that he ever feels that they are headed down the wrong path. I second that emotion. I can certainly relate to that in my own personal way. You know, deep down, every father cares for their sons. Well, I can't speak for every father, but mine certainly did. And he watched me do a lot of crazy stuff when I was a kid. Believe me, I was doing a lot of crazy stuff. You think I'm crazy now? You should have seen how crazy I was back then. I've actually calmed down a lot since then. Seriously. Hey, my name's T. McDonald. You know, my dad, growing up, always looked out for me and my brothers and sisters. He never judged us. He encouraged us to be who we were. You are unique. Careful. Don't fall. I was a little crazy as a kid, and he encouraged me to be me. And that was the best life lesson. Be yourself. Be who you are. That's a connection between a father and son that makes it a father and son connection. Be who you are. Accepting, not being judgmental of people or um, your children or whatever. But don't be judgmental of anybody. You don't know what someone's gone through in life. Just be who you are and let other people be who they are. Wait a minute. My dad was not a perfect person, but you know what? Who of us really are? That's a great life lesson. That's what my dad told me. And that's what I'm doing right now. Don't Aaron, I just hold on to it for him. Dangerous. I'm being who I am. 
This is me. Hey, he's just hanging on to it for you, Tony. I'm not acting. It might seem like I'm acting, but I'm not acting. This is me. In front of a camera. Right, oh, dirty. Three cameras and lights and microphones and all kinds of shit with stuff behind me. This is me. This is all me. What you're looking at right now is raw me. Well, that certainly is enough of me now. And I like me. I don't love myself, but I fucking like myself a lot. So tune in for next time, as I take the crazy to all new levels. I'll go pluck yourself, what don't you? Because in all honesty, you've only seen the half of it. Well, if I'm going to plug anybody, I'm going to plug myself, aren't I? If anyone's going to get plugged around here, it's going to be me on the receiving end of it. Well, that came out wrong, didn't it? Thanks for watching, and see you next time from the Top Loader. Which also doubles as my porn star name.